Hello everyone, welcome to Theme Thursday. It's definitely Thursday, yes, definitely Thursday and it's half past six at night, so it's all dark outside, so we're just using the kitchen light to make this video. And it is a video, excuse me, <coughs> video of my little boy Jonty. He is wearing his beautiful little all-in-one that I bought from Bowdoin, which is why I've got something to put on him, because as I've told you before, all the baby's things are packed away in my formal lounge room, and they're underneath the children's single bed, which we had to move out into that lounge room, so they're absolutely impossible to get to. There's a coffee table in the way, a piano behind that, that bed, and it's all packed beautifully, but I can't get any of their clothes because actually John T would have had the perfect outfit for today not that this one isn't but he would have had the, another perfect outfit that he got from his Auntie Sue drink water maybe a year ago and it's got it's a two piece outfit I seem to remember and the top has got little cars or different colour cars on it and I can't remember the, what the bottoms have got maybe they're a plain colour but anyway that's silly to describe that to you isn't it because he can't wear it because it's packed up at the moment. As soon as I get back into my own bed then we can unpack my formal lounge room and set up the children's playroom again which will be really nice. Anyway so what he is wearing is this little suit that I bought from Bowdoin at the same time as I bought the other suits that you saw last week or the week before on the babies when I dressed them up as English babies. I also bought this little all-in-one because I just couldn't resist it. It's the same sort of cream coloured background. It's got poppers up the front and on each leg, on the inside of each leg. A little cream, plain cream Peter Pan collar with a red piping trim. And the pattern on the actual fabric is an English, it's images of London, probably London rather than England. It's got Tower Bridge, let me point that out to you, it's on his foot down here. And there's another one, there's Tower Bridge, and there's another one, and another one. And it's got double-decker buses, it's got a red letterbox, which actually John T. bought back as a souvenir. But I put it up with the Christmas things, and he, um, I couldn't reach it, which is a shame, because it's exactly like that. And in, in truth, um, Suzanne of Suzanne's Baby sent that to us last Christmas, I think. But I couldn't reach it, which was so frustrating. Anyway... So it's got a, a letterbox on it, and for transport it's got the black London taxi, London cabs, and and the double-decker buses, as I said. Let me see, oh, it's got push bikes somewhere there. There's push bikes as well. So we've actually covered a lot of ground there. We've covered holidays, and we've covered transportation, all in one outfit, which is just a piece of luck. No more than that. So I've also put a couple of things with John T. He bought himself that little bear, which is a Mary Thought bear, and Mary Thought is made in England. So let me just show you the little bear. He's very, very cute. There he is. He's very small. He's probably only, if his legs were straight down, which I can do. How big would you call that? Oh, <laughs> five inches, maybe five inches. And on the bottom of this foot, you can see that, I think, I hope you can, it says, Mary Thought, Knightsbridge Shop, I think it says. So that's his little souvenir that he brought back. So I thought we'd have put them together. And of course, for transportation, being a boy, he's just mad about helicopters. He's never been in one, but he loves them. Every time one flies overhead, which isn't very often, he always wants to go outside and, and watch them. So that's his little toy helicopter. So that's my boy. Whoops. Come on, helicopter. Go there. Where you were. There we are. That's my little boy, all dressed up for theme Thursday. And Lottie, I could have dressed in a spotty... Um, She's got a spotty, what do you call it, a spotty, <laughs> you guys call it a onesie, but we call them bodysuits. So she has got one of those. But it's very hard to take her out of that gorgeous knitted outfit that I put her in yesterday. So I decided not to. I thought I'd just focus on this little lad. He can be the star of the show today. 
And look how little he looks in the pram. I wonder if you can tell. When Lottie's in the pram, she just fills it up. But he looks so teeny weeny in there. Let me just move this a little bit. There, that's a bit better. You know me in this fiddle, fiddling with the camera business. I'll just zoom out a fraction. I think. It's too much of a fraction. It's not sensitive enough, this zoom thing, is it? Is it too far off? We're back to where we were. Anyway, I'll stop fiddling. So that's my boy. Oh, I didn't say on the bottom of his feet. Look at that. This gorgeous blue and white striped material. Very, very cute. I love that. Little touch. Bowden does all six lovely extra little things like that. Like the red piping around his collar. That's just an extra detail. And I think that's why they're more expensive because they do have extra things like that. Although I do notice that Carter's does a lot of lovely things too. They put little, nice little trims on things and, and very nice um, embroidery, don't they? But anyway, that's my boy. And do you know what? I can't believe this, but I forgot to tell you guys that I had a cleaner come on Monday. I don't know how I forgot to tell you about that. So what happened was that the, um, the company, I don't know why my brain's not working well, I should know because it rarely works properly, but whatever that cleaning company is called, they um, give, gave me a ring last week and said, would I like to have someone come and clean on Monday morning? And I said, oh yeah, okay, if they know how to clean. And they said, oh yes, yeah, she's very nice, her name's Anne and she knows how to clean. So at 10 o'clock, well actually just before 10 on the dot, Anne arrived at the front door and she's lovely and I greeted her and in she came and she brought all her equipment like a proper person would so she brought everything she needed and I showed her around the house and showed her what I needed done in particular and so I told her I'd like the bathroom, um, the shower recess scrubbed out because the boiler two weeks ago didn't do a great job and I asked her if she could please wipe the doors, both sides of it, all of my doors, and so she did. Well, she got halfway through, she's going to do the next lot um, when she comes next time. But she she did know how to clean, it's just that, and she was lovely to have here. I actually had Jen here with me as sort of backup in case it all went wrong, but she was just lovely, and she actually, the cleaner was lovely, and she lives locally, just not very far from here in a street that I know because I've been here. She's been there for 15 years and I've been in this house about 33 years, I think it is. My husband and I bought it when our fourth baby was only three months old. That's when we moved in and boy oh boy was that hard work. And it was the middle of summer so it was hot and there were no screens on the windows and I had all the windows open to make the house fresh and all the mozzies came in, oh my goodness. But that's another story, isn't it, from a long time ago. So where was I up to? Oh, yes, the lovely cleaner, Anne, who lives locally, and Jen being here. So Anne, Anne went cleaning everywhere. And um, um, the only thing is that I think we're all the same. Nobody cleans the way exactly what we want. So she did some dusting and she did vacuuming and that kind of thing. But I noticed that... She did dust, but she didn't actually dust to remove the dust, if you know what I mean. She went through the action of dusting, but I could still see some little specks of dust left, and I thought, well, when you clean things, you make sure you leave it clean. But I guess, I mean, it was very nice to have her here because she was very pleasant. And she sort of did basic things, and after she'd gone, I did a bit more cleaning so that I felt the house was clean. And she, when she walked in, she didn't know that the house needed cleaning. She thought it looked so clean. She said, do I have a cleaner come in every week to keep it clean? I said, no, 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 I, I clean the house myself. It's just that there are some things I can't do. So actually, it was good. Um, it wasn't perfect, but you know what? I never thought it would be. I've um, never had a perfect cleaner. When I was a cleaner, which I did for a while... Um, I, I think I was a perfect cleaner. I cleaned everything really well, properly and beautifully, and how I would have liked my house left. And I tidied as I went. I once had a cleaner who I was excited to have because she was from Europe, and I, I always think European cleaners are good because 
that's my heritage and my family is pretty fussy. Anyway, so I had her come and the very first time she came, you won't believe what she did. It was, oh my goodness, it was the middle of winter, I distinctly remember. And she came and she did clean. She cleaned very, very well. But strangely, after she dusted and polished and mopped and vacuumed everything, she went and dusted all the picture rails and plate rails in my house because I have them because that's the age of this house. So can you imagine the dust that came down from them onto the clean surfaces and the floor? There was rolling lumps of dust everywhere and when I walked in I saw that. And also when she moved furniture to vacuum, so say she moved the dining room chairs to vacuum under the table, she didn't put them back again after she'd finished. She just left everything everywhere and it was very strange because I just don't think that's how you, how you should leave things. Anyway, so I got home and I saw all the dust and I said, how come there's dust all over the floor? And she said, oh well, I, I dusted them at the end. I said, but when you clean, you start high up and you work your way down. How come you did that? And she couldn't explain it. She just did it without thinking. She, and I was crying. I, I was so disappointed. I just couldn't believe that anybody could do that. Anyway, she said she would fix it for me, so I went out the front and it was freezing cold and I was crying and I was on the phone telling the kids what happened or Jen or someone and I calmed down after a while but, um, and she fixed it but I, um, I was pretty unhappy and she promised she wouldn't do that again so I had her a few more times but then she started to get all muddled about when she was meant to come and I had some people here and she came and I said, oh, what are you doing here? She said, oh, this is when I'm meant to come. I said, well, you told me you were having a haircut now, today, and so you wouldn't be able to come today. So after that, I just thought, well, this is all too difficult, so I didn't have her back. And she would have been a good cleaner if she um, would have used her head a bit more. I think she would have been quite good because she did leave things clean and I could have asked her to put the furniture back once she moved it, but really it was all... You know, it still wasn't right, and so that's been my experience with cleaners. I did have have had a couple of others in the past that um, were pretty good, well, sort of good, but it really does come down to nobody cleans the way you like your own house cleaned. And it would be great if I didn't care. I, it would be wonderful just to know that someone's coming in to do it. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, everybody. That just went forever. A silly story about a cleaner. Anyway, she is coming back and she's really sweet and I'm looking forward to seeing her again because she's very nice. So, that brings us to this point of the word that I haven't wanted to use because I don't want any ring-ins. I only want my loyal subscribers to know about this and it's time for me to read out the names of the people who are in the draw for the secret giveaway. So, let, now there are 86, but I, rather than just show you the list, I really want to read the names out so that you hear your name. I, I would like to do that because I feel you're very important to me and I would really like to, to um, say your names. So I think rather than, if I hold it there and try and read it, it's a bit too hard for me to read through the camera. And I don't want to go backwards and forwards. But I'll just show you there. So you can see there's that, pa that page, excuse me, and there's the back of that page and then there's a few more on the third page. I'll just show you that. So that's what I'm going to read. I'm going to read out these names. See there's 86 there. So let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. Now this, this is in no particular order. It's just the order that was when I went through my videos that was on my phone. I noticed it's different in my computer which is very odd. But anyway, so I'll start reading now. So number one is Aaliyah's Reborn World. Number two is Suzanne's Babies. Number three is Reborn Babies Are Forever Babies. Number four is Having You On. Number five is Fun and Frolic Reborn Nursery. Number six is Butterfly Baby Kisses Nursery. Number seven is Nana's Nursery and Reborns. Number eight is My Bella Blessing. Number nine is Mad Hatter DJ. Number 10 is Deidre's Reborns and Lupus Life. Number 11, Strawberry Moon Reborns. Number 12, My Little World. Number 13, Cindy's Dolls. Number 14, Bubbles 75. 
Number 15, Baby Love Hard Smith. Number 16, Fay Luna. Number 17, Mum Forever. Number 18, Holly Church. Number 19, Cara's Reborns. Number 20, Kimberly's Cocoon. Number 21, Ruby Rose Reborns. Number 22, Petra Clark. Number 23, Tammy Hughes. Number 24, Booties and Bonnets. Number 25, Jeans Dolls. Number 26, Sharon Kaminsky. Number 27, Tina from the Rose of the Shire. Number 28, Heather Faulkner. Number 29, Over the Rainbow Reborns, Lee, Lee or Leah Shea. Number 30, Eliza's Eliza. Number 31, Mary O. Number 32, My Reborn, Lily Beth. Number 33, Suzanne K. J. 88. Number 34, Tammy Mitchell. Number 35, Jennifer De La Gaza. Number 36, Merrily Hannon. Number 37, Anne Smith, Reborn Master. Reborn's Matter. Sorry, sorry Anne. Anne Smith, Reborn's Matter. I'll just show you that to me. There it is. Okay, so that's that page. Now let's read the ones from over the page. That's number 38 is Mary Haas or Haas. Number 39 is Kerry G. Number 40 is Alex Banwell. Number 41, Virginia Shoot. Number 42, Darlene VM. Number 43, Esther Linda. And then something that I can't pronounce really. There it is. Zomers Nerdki or something. Number 44, Granny Cat. Number 45, Bundles of Joy. Number 46, Little Lag Babies. Number 47, Springtime Creations Nursery. Number 48, Charlotte King. Number 49, Megan Ballard. Number 50, Ar Arabella's Place. Number 51, Mamaw's Reborn Pumpkin Patch. Number 52, Mary Beth Robles. Number 53, Jodie Lynn, Reborn's Life. Number 54, Weeby Dolls. Number 55, Mi Michael Fox Foxter. Number 56, Jeffrey, 63031. Number 57, Anne's Reborn Babies and Fun in the Nursery. Number 58, Christine Walsh. Number 59, Nicole's Little Ones. Number 60, Cloud Nine Reborn Nursery. 61, Kylie Cat S. 62, Pauline Hallsworth. 63, Simply Shelley. 64, Delania. 65, Sussies. 66, Rustic Alaskan Reborns. 67, In the Sparrow's Nest. 68, Toffifi. 70, 69. Rachel Hill. So that Toffifi one has got a 70 after it. See, Toffifi 70 and then number 69 is Rachel Hill. Number 70, Hopalong Reborn Nursery. Number 71, Don Elder Clark. Number 72, Sonia Maria. Number 73, Reborn Mummy Love. And number 74, Cynthia Collins. I'll just show that to you. That's the bottom of that page. And then we've just got a few more on the last page. So thank you very much for, for bearing with me, but I really wanted to read these out. So here's the last page. There we go. Okay, so it's number 75 is Mon 31 Fitz Pat. Number 76, Reborn Huggles. 77, This and That. 78, Just Bippy. 79, Sherpoo 66, Reborn Lindsley. 80, Nana Helen. 81, Love Me Some Reborn Babies. 82, My Wee Reborn's Cradle. 83, Lynn's Baby's Dolls. 84, Beach Baby Reborn's by Patty. 85, Lila Lemay, or Leela Lemay, I'll just show you that one. 85, and then 86, Priscilla Asal. And there we have it. Now I'll just show you, I'll just show you once more and then what I'll do is I'll go and set up in the computer room and then we'll do the random number thing. But I'll show you the list so you can see it all there. There we go. Just slowly move down if you want to see where yours is. And Strawberry Moon Reborns is number 11. 
There we go. Did I say Jean's dolls? I must have. Must have. I just can't remember. That was number 25. There we go. Okay, so that's that one. Turn over. Just try and get it in focus. There we are. Go slowly down. So you can just check your number if you want to, or just replay if you want to hear what your number is. And number 59 is Nicole's Little Ones, just so you know Nicole. That's the bottom of that page. Cynthia Collins, number 74, is at the bottom of that page. And then just these few on the third page. I'll show you. Come on, Mr. Camera. Do as you're told. It's not too bad. Hopefully you can read those. So there we go. And what I'll do is I'll say goodbye for now for one second and just set up and point the camera at the computer. I'll be back before you know it. Right, here we are. Oh, of course it's changed. Let me just move that out a bit. There we go. That's a random number picker. So we've got from number one, I'll just show you that. Number one. Hmm, that's no good. Okay, from number one to number 86. You have seen that before, haven't you? So all I have to do is, I'm working from a very strange angle here. So we get rid of the number 10. Yeah, there we go. We get rid of the number 10 and we put in number 86. There we go. So it's going from 1 to 86 and then we just press... Where is it? There we go. We just press generate. And let's see what number... It, oh, number 33. Let's see who that is. Oh, my goodness. It's Suzanne K J 88 Oh, wow. Sorry, not Suzanne. Susan. Let me just see if I can get that in focus. Wow, congratulations, Susan. That's amazing. That's actually an Australian. My goodness. Hang on, where are we? This is not good, is it? Let me maybe, if I zoom out a bit, that might help because it's very zoomed in. Just go out. Oh, wow. Congratulations, Susan. I just want to show everybody. Where are we? There we go. There's number 33, Susan K. J88. Congratulations, my dear girl. That's very, very exciting. You are the winner. You are the winner of my secret, secret giveaway that was only for my very special friends. I read all your names out, and, and many of you um, commented on, on more than one video, of course. Many of you commented on every video. But I decided, as I said before, that I would just give you each one one number, otherwise it would just get huge, wouldn't it? So I hope that you're all happy for Susan and wish her well. And Susan, if you could please send me a PM and tell me um, tell me what gender doll you would like and what size clothes you would like. And then perhaps even give me your email address or your postal address even, and I will just get that ready and send it to you. Now, I'll give you a week because I know everybody's busy. So it's Thursday night. So I'll give you till next Thursday night because I don't want you to miss out. And if anybody knows Susan and has her email address, will you let her know that she's won this giveaway? Because I don't want her to miss out. I'd, I'd love to send this to her. So she's our winner, everybody. So well done, Susan. You, you got number 33 and you were given a number because you've been very kind to me and very, very caring like everybody on that list, all 86 of you. So thank you, everybody. I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to hear from her. And I can't believe it's an Australian out of all that list. That's amazing. Wow. Because I was very happy to post overseas. Very, very happy. Because um, I'm, I'm so excited, I can't wait to hear what she would like and I'll put it together. I'll put something nice together for her. So thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for being so good to me and so kind and so patient when I couldn't respond to your comments and just so caring about how I've been. It really means a lot. And I would just like to thank you once again for everything, for all your kind comments and all your caring. It's just been brilliant. 
So I think I'll, if this giveaway works well, if I don't get any complaints, which I shouldn't because really only you guys know about it, I haven't put the word giveaway anywhere in my description or anywhere at all or in the tag because I just didn't want outsiders to know, you know, just to come in randomly and, and um, put their name down or, you know, make a comment just so they could get a prize. It was really just for you guys. So, yeah, okay. Well, let's hope that Susan gets in touch very soon. I hope she does. And in the meantime, everybody, take care and be kind to each other. I'll see you soon because I want to do the artist's tag that I've heard a few people do. So that will probably be my next contribution to YouTube. So thanks, everyone. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Take care.